Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Blocks and guys and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all so anytime you drop in your banger a new exclusive video you will definitely be notified. I'm right here with the legendary money rollers. Oh my god senor, gracias for being a este programa. Estoy muy contento. Um, you can unmute your mic there. Uh, so yeah. Are we good now? Yeah, yeah. Now. Okay. Uh, thank thanks for, for coming. Uh, no, no. I mean, I have to thank you for coming because I, I never thought you were gonna come. Like it's amazing to have you guys here. Right on, right on. No, I, I, I'm a man of my word. Sometimes I forget things, but not on purpose. Never on purpose. Um. So. First of all, we want to let's just talk quick about what you're doing, you know, for the kids because I've been going through your profile. You've been helping a lot. You like you're into this uh, charity stuff, right? Yes, we we uh, we had a toy drive. Um, uh, uh, well, I, I went and I turned in the toys since uh, last Saturday, but we had a huge toy drive. It was very successful. Uh, I put it out there for the boxing community to go ahead and and and, and do something for the for the people in need, and so we picked the uh, children's hospital in LA, and it was a success. Uh, we it was man, it, it was it was beautiful. I mean, uh, we had a lot of people, and again, a lot of people in the boxing community participate, and and it just it was it was a success. Oh, I'm really, really glad, you know, because when I saw that, I was like, wow, I mean, he's doing this. That means he's genuinely a very good person. Um, how has life been since the, you know, since the roller coaster in on June 1st happened? Correct. No, it's, it's been good. I mean, uh, like, I'm, 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 I'm still the same person. No, nothing, nothing really, nothing's changed. I'm, I'm in the gym working with my guys, working with my fighters and looking for trying to build the next champion, you know? And it's when you're passionate about what you do, then you can, you know, you, you nev never allow a situation to to determine who you are as an individual. You know, that, that what happened on June 1st when we won the heavyweight title, that was a special moment, special day. But, uh, but it, it doesn't, it never, it, I shouldn't determine who you are. The love is still, the love for the sport is still there. The love to, continue to show up to the gym and work with my guys, work with my fighters, with my amateurs, my pros. It's 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 what I was born to do. You know, God put me on this shirt to do exactly what I'm doing today. Yeah, no, I today I had to rewatch the Ruiz Joshua fight, the first fight. It was so yeah. amazing how you was actually you gave Ruiz you know the right plan to beat Anthony Joshua. How were you right. able to how were you able to figure Joshua out as a fighter? Because a lot of people have said Joshua has flaws, Joshua is this, Joshua is that, is robotic, but nobody was able to figure it out, you know, um, until you did with uh, Andrews Jr. How, how were you able to figure Joshua out as a fighter? You, st you study the fighters, you know, you, you, I've known Anthony Joshua since he was an amateur. Um, I, I watched him fight at the World Championships as an amateur in Baku, Azerbaijan, when I was working with Team USA, and I got a chance to meet him back then, and I've been watching him fight since he since he turned pro, you know, and uh, uh, you know I, I'm a, first of all I'm a fan of Anthony Joshua. You know? I was a I was always a fan. I even as an amateur, I always looked looked up to him and, and, and admired him as a fighter and everything he was able to do as an amateur, winning gold in the in the 2012 Olympics and eventually you know becoming who he is today. But it just so happened that that uh, you know uh, we got the opportunity to fight him with one of my one of my guys. Actually, too, I had fought with uh, with Dominic, Dominic Brazil, Brazil back in 2016. Yeah. We had fought him back then, and you know, and then we fought him again with Andy Ruiz. So yeah, I was very well aware of Anthony Joshua, and you know, being up close and and, and personal uh, with the first fight versus uh, Dominic Brazil. I got a chance to know him. Uh, little bit look at his strength study his strength but also study his flaws and you know we took advantage of that with Andy Reese and it worked in the rematch teams kind of you know changed ways 
because Joshua came up with a different game plan. A lot of people have been it's saying that plan, yeah. Andrews Jr. did not train for that. He did not, but, right. but we saw you do some pad work with him. I think he trained for it, yeah. but maybe he didn't take it serious as he took the first right. five series. Well, of course, he, he wasn't 100%, you know. He trained for the fight. Of course he did. If he didn't, then he wouldn't have gotten the 12 rounds that he did with Joshua. You know, uh, he trained, but he wasn't 100%. And that's the problem. When you, when you, when you challenge a fighter like Joshua, you need to be 150 percent you know and you need to be on your a game you need you have to be at your best and unfortunately he wasn't i believe that we had a good game plan coming into the second fight because i su suspected that joshua would um not really box more than he than he normally did and kind of like uh, uh you know be on his a lot of be on his toes and a lot of forward stick and move and not 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 be stable not stand in the same place for too long but again when you're not a hundred percent when you're not uh you can't you can't execute a game plan when you're not when when you're not at your best yeah that, that that's definitely true so uh yeah i i guess you watched the fight uh just was fight with pulev this part this uh, last weekend yes i you did know. yeah i called it i uh, i called the fight and uh, I, you know, I put a little video out there th with my thoughts on the fight, and I suspected that uh, um, uh, uh, that Joshua would get the knockout after the sixth round. After Are the you sixth round? And yeah, so he got it in the ninth. So yeah, good. Are you impressed with the new but Joshua? The Were you impressed with the performance? Or because a lot of people yeah, have been criticizing yeah, the, the saw, Considering that he hadn't fought in a year, you know, I like what I saw from Joshua. Uh, uh, a, a little bit of ring rush, but I, 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 you know, this fight, I'm glad, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he was able to get nine, nine rounds in, right? That yeah. He was able to get nine rounds this way, this way, uh, you know, um, uh, if he gets another fight, then, you know, he'll, um, he'll, uh, uh, you know, if he gets a fight with Tyson Fury, he'll get that ring rush out the way and he'll be ready for it. You know, a lot of people as, as well, you know, have been, Talking about the Fury uh, Joshua fight for 2021, that's the big fight. Wait for, like, in your opinion, what do you think Joshua both fighters need to do to get a win? Because people are kind of just writing Joshua out already, saying that he has no chance. Um, what do you make of the fight if it happens? Well, you gotta remember, Andrew Reese had no chance either, and, and he won, right? So why, why, why can't someone like? You know, Anthony Joshua have a chance. Of course he does. He's a world champion. And, you know, it'll be an incredible fight. I don't think... I think the fans are going to win. More than more than Joshua versus Fury, I think the, 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 the two winners are going to be us, the fans. Because it's a fight we all want to see. So at the end of the day, may the best man win, but we're definitely going to, you know, as fans, be... Uh, we're going to be the real winners that night. Yeah, uh, también quiero hablar español, en español también. Um, claro. Quiero hacerte una pregunta sobre Andy Ruiz Jr. ¿Has hablado con él desde ese, uh, los meses? Que, que... ¿De, de qué? ¿De hablas de Andy? Sí, ¿habéis hablado? No, 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 no he hablado con él. No, desde, desde, desde el año pasado, desde después de la pelea, no, le mandé un mensaje le texté un mensaje, me contestó, pero fue todo. Pero hablar con él, ni por teléfono, ni, ni en persona, nada. No, no. Le ¿Y, cómo, mejor, pero... ¿Y cómo te sientes cuando... Porque yo sé que uh, tú fue su entrenador, entrenador, sí. algo así, pero las cosas no, no, no han sido bien uh, con vosotros. No, no quieres que no, no, por ahí... Sí, cuando el peleador no, no, no pone de su parte, cuando el peleador no se entrega al 100%, por supuesto que las cosas no van a salir bien. Por supuesto bueno. que no. Entonces, eh, la, lamentablemente, eh, Andy, después de, que, después de la pelea en junio, pues, cambió mucho. Ya no era la misma persona. Entonces, yo creo que es mejor así. Yo creo que con una persona no, no está dispuesta a entrenar, a entregarse, a trabajar duro, no se puede trabajar. Yo para mí es mejor así porque eh, es mejor si le va a quitar el tiempo que se lo va a ir y que se lo quite a alguien más. O, o si no va, se va a entregar al 100%. Yo no me quiero hacer responsable porque ese, ese deporte es muy peligroso. Entonces, cuando no estás 
preparado, cuando no vienes al 100%, se vuelve aún más peligroso. Entonces, yo no quiero ser parte de, 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 de alguien que, que, que no tiene disciplina y que no se prepara al 100%. Qué lástima, qué lástima. Uh, do you have any Edward in your, in your roster now? As of now, do you have any, is there any Edward in your roster? Uh, yeah, I have a, uh, uh, Charles, uh, uh, I, I have Charles, I have, uh, uh, Charles Martin, Charles, fought, uh, Charles Martin fought, uh, um, uh, you know, Anthony Joshua for the world title, as a matter of fact, he's a world champion then, and, and, uh, Charles Martin just, uh, in last February, February, he won the mandatory, so we're, uh, uh, so we're the mandatory challengers now to the belt. Wow, that's yeah, interesting. Uh, so you know, I, of course, I have to ask you that uh, we know the 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 best pound for pound fighter, Canelo Alvarez, will be fighting on Saturday, yeah. uh, and against uh, Callum Smith. How do you what do you make of that fight? What do you think wins that fight? It's gonna be a good fight. I think it's gonna be a good fight. I think Callum Smith is uh, is definitely a, a, a solid world champion at 168. I, I I don't think he's fighting any pushover. I don't I don't think it's gonna be. A, I think it's going to be a competitive a competitive fight and uh, I like it. I like it. it should be oh. So stylistically do you think Canelo wins? I don't know. I don't know. I uh, I, I want to see a good fight. Canelo win. If he you know, I mean he's a favorite so he should. But but will he? I don't know because uh, Colin Smith is a solid 168 pounder. You know, I mean you can ask me the same thing is Colin Smith going to win? I don't know. But that's that's that makes it interesting, right? When you the, the, the size, the size yeah, difference, the size difference, like was crazy when I saw it. The size right. difference, uh, C3, oh, big, big time, big time. yeah, gotta know how to use it though. But, uh, okay, coach, money, okay, thanks a lot. My friend would love to ask you a question. A uh, tie, Jack, wait, yeah, go for it. Uh, Manny, I'm, I'm so happy you're here, you're, you're, you're able to get on the show. Um, I just wanted to, uh, we touched up on you being um being um in brazil's corner when uh when he fought anthony joshua and Correct. you know people were giving you know the praises to andy ruiz and i was a little bit disappointed when i was like when i told people i'm like listen the missing key was manny robles manny robles has has has, has fought joshua once he's been he's been watching joshua for a long time so i believe Without you, Andy Ruiz would have gotten that win, and that and people could people could hate this channel, they could hate me for it, but I I I a hundred percent believe that, you know. So it was disappointing that when he left, you know, people still weren't really acknowledging like, okay, Manny was that guy that really brought Andy to it. It was just Andy's fault that he wasn't able to actually train, you know. Right on. And it, and going on to to you so Charles Martin being a man, uh, mandatory and I'm telling people I'm like listen the, the Charles Martin that fought Anthony Joshua him with Manny Robles is gonna be different it's not gonna yeah. be a, an easy a, a, a walk in the park it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough fight for Anthony Joshua now that you're in his corner because now you fought Anthony Joshua once twice and three uh, it's about to be a third fight it's right. about to be a right. third fight now so it's it's more of like a Manny Robles being that key to you know being that guy that upsets Anthony Joshua or that gives Anthony Joshua a hard time. Now my question is, what 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 would you do differently going into that third fight for with with uh, Charles Martin in your corner or what has been has he been improving? What has he been doing differently as a fighter compared to the last time before Joshua? All right. All right. Well, well, look. First of all, I have to thank you for. Uh... For, uh, for for your words and what you what you said what you just said and your thoughts about me and and you know what the, what we were able to accomplish with uh, with Andy Reese that was great you know uh, um, you know uh, we did something special that night uh, together as a team and that's what I'm keeping that's what I'm keeping to myself with June first we were able to shock the world and you know win the world title and, and you know. Uh, we, you know, we did something that no one expected. So, with that aside, you know, with Charles Martin, you know, getting back to Charles Martin, Charles Martin is definitely not the same fighter that that fought Anthony Joshua when he lost the when he lost the belt. Uh, uh, Charles Martin is a better fighter now. He just came out the best performance of his career last February. 
he's a better fighter. He's he's not only is he obviously a better fighter, but he's he's matured as a person. He's matured as a as an individual, as a human being. Uh, uh, he knows what he wants. He's working harder than ever. And if we get the opportunity to fight Joshua, well, obviously, and we again, this one will not definitely not be the same fighter. We'll have a different approach. Uh, and uh, Charles Martin is not Andy Reese, vice versa. You know, looking at fighters with different styles, and he's a softball, Charles. So obviously, we would have to fight him differently. And but I, I, I believe that, that Charles would have a uh, definitely have a chance to shock the world, just like Andy Reese did. Thank you, thank, thank you. And if um, I, I've I've always wondered if fighters want to reach you, how do they reach you? If I'm sorry, if if they say, oh, I, I I'm I'm like the next champion and I want a good trainer, how would they reach you in um, communication, trying to communicate, so you know you can see what they have. Yeah, they, they, well, they can they can always DM me. Nowadays, it's easy to get a hold of someone on Instagram, DM me, send me a message, and and I'll get right back to them. You know what I mean? Awesome. Normally, that's awesome. how I do it. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. That's all I have. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks a lot. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Um, God bless you for joining the show. You are cannot, you are the first you are the first trainer to join this show, and I'm really glad. But I want to ask you one 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 question, one more question. First, like, I know you like yes, just a, a pathetic question away. Like if you were to be a part of the Joshua theme, for example, because I know your style will be very yeah. effective uh, referring with Joshua, you know, your style of training, because I just heard recently that Joshua has like four, three trainers or something like that that come in and help out with wow. his training. Okay. If you were to be in that position, do you think Joshua will be a much better fighter than he is now? I think I, I, think I can add to his, um, to, 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 you know, to who he is now as a fighter. I think I, I can help. In some ways, you know, I've been like I said, I've been watching him fight for a very long time. So I know because I'm a fan, so I know him very well. Like I know, um, but I also believe in myself and my abilities as a coach, and and be able to add to what he already has to offer to make try to make him a better fighter. Definitely. Thanks, Coach Money. I really appreciate it. Gracias mucho, muchas gracias. Te agradezco por venir y darme la. <laughs> de nada. Gracias por tenerme en tu programa. Te lo oh, no, 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 no. Gracias a ti. Gracias a ti, señor. Um, like we say in German, uh, Danke schön. Ich bin so froh, dass du hier bist. God bless you. Bye. God bless you, brother. Bye. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.